Welcome to Garden Life, a cozy simulation game. In this relaxing gardening game, you'll create your dream garden in a tranquil, colourful world. Stick around until the end and I've got some tips to help your garden flourish. This game is a beautiful, relaxing simulation game for all you garden lovers out there. Or you wannabes. It was released in February 2024 and developed by Still Alive Studios. This game offers two modes of play. The story mode, which introduces you to the characters and their stories, while presenting you with various tasks to help you expand and enhance your garden. And the creative mode, where everything is accessible from the start, allowing you to unleash your creativity. You begin with being handed an overgrown plot that is destined to become a flourishing community garden. You are introduced to Jasmine, one of the first characters within the Pleasant Village community. Throughout the game, you get to meet some colourful characters with their own different stories, all willing to help you grow and expand the community garden. These characters will send you requests in the form of postcards through your mailbox that you can fulfil for florins, the in-game currency. With these florins, you expand your garden with many different varieties of seeds, decorations and tools that help you do that tedious garden work more easily. To note that in the settings there is a colourblind mode, which is useful as there are so many different varieties of vibrant colours. The gameplay is smooth. I use a keyboard and mouse, but controller is available. The various jobs you do around the garden include pruning, watering, planting, and getting rid of those nasty pests. Initially, pruning and watering can feel difficult to manage, so I do encourage you to get the new upgraded tools as soon as possible, as this makes the game much less grindy. The art style is unique and captivating. The flowers are beautiful with their vibrant multiple colours and luscious green foliage. There is a large variety of flowering species and I love how you can discover new variations of the same species by harvesting seeds. You have the free roam of the garden allowing you to plant flowers anywhere and after certain quests the garden reveals even more including a greenhouse. Let your imagination wander and if you do want to move a plant you can dig it up and get the seeds back so there is no limit to your creativity. I do like the animations in the game. The compost bin with its smoke animations above it signifies that it is composting and the beautiful waterfall in the village looks very realistic and gives the village a romantic, cosy feel. And there is also fish swimming in the stream, which all add to the overall ambience of the game. I also like the extra touches of the different colours, swells, which show when you gain a different variety of seeds and the different animations for digging, pruning and watering. The music is calming and blends very well with the game and adds to the immersion and the voice acting is nice and clear, bringing the characters to life. There are different seasons and weather systems, where each season may affect a flower growth, adding further realism to the game. So always consult the plant book for the ideal flower habitat. Also, at the back of the book, you can find a little bit about the controls of the game. Basically a mini tutorial. I do wish there was a search bar, bar in the book though, as it would be easier to find the flowers you're looking for. Also, same for the storage. There is an abundant storage system for seeds, flowers, cutting, tools and decorations. A nice touch is that the workbench uses the flower cuttings that are in the storage, so when making bouquets you don't need them in your hand or rucksack. A quality of life feature I wished a lot of games utilised. The time is signified by an intricate, pretty pocket watch which blends well with the overall ambience of the game. I haven't found any performance issues. The game passes very well as it can end the game any time by returning home or sitting on a bench. Now for some useful tips. Don't neglect the compost bin as getting that fertiliser is handy to speed flowering of the seeds for the quest you need doing. Especially if you are short of florins. But saying that they do tend to grow quickly anyway. Keep an eye on watering and pests. Water daily unless raining and look out for any pests that may be eating your plants. Use that bug spray initially, but you can upgrade this later. Plants will die if not tended to. It is easy to get carried away with designing a beautiful garden like the one we all wish we had in real life, but try and do the postcard requests as soon as you can, as florins are very important to upgrade your tools and garden plot area. Upgrading tools helps save time giving you more time to unleash your creativity. Oh, and get the seed bag as early as you can, as this saves time and florins get those seeds from your flowers instantly, rather than having to harvest each one. Don't neglect your plant book. I wondered why my jasmines were not flourishing as well as I wanted them to. It wasn't until I read the book I realised there were climbers and needed a trellis or fence to be up against. 
so I had to dig them all up again, but thank goodness I got my seeds back. I have not fully finished the game as yet. I have just got into summer season, but as a 24 hours, I really enjoyed it way more than I thought I would. It is so easy to lose yourself in the design of the garden, the characters' charming stories and the ambience. The game makes you feel you are part of that community, thus wanting you to achieve the nicest garden possible. This game is definitely for the gardeners out there, but also for gamers that love cozy, pretty simulation games that can expand your imagination. I hope you've enjoyed this review. And if you would like to see a gameplay of Garden Life on my channel, please let me know in the comments below. Also, please leave a like and subscribe to keep notified of up and coming reviews and gameplays. Another beautiful cozy game is Hidden Cat Memories, especially if you are a cat lover. So please click the video above to find out what I thought of Hidden Cat Memories. Thank you for watching and take care.